WFNN. Headline News Update. What's going on, everyone? This is Jacob Shoup filling in for Tom O'Brien. This is the 4 p.m. market update. Uh, it's Friday. It's about to be the weekend. I'm looking forward to it. Let's see what just happened at the end of the day there. We were trading up uh, quite strongly. This is the E-mini here, but this is happening in the NQs as well and the Dow. You can see the Dow finishing right around that. Four. Oh, man, we are so close. 4,001. Still up about 0.62% on the day. You can see at least for the E-mini, you got up to yesterday's high. We kind of test that and then bounce a little bit and right down on some pretty substantial uh, volume as well. Uh, same obviously with the SPY, of course. Let's take a look at the NQs. You get the same kind of move. And then uh, let's take a look at the Dow. This is just on the 15 minute, but regardless, you're still getting this big leg down that way. Take a look at the Dow futures. Yeah. Pretty weird. We'll see what happens on Monday. You know, I. I this might be the start of kind of a small retracing. You know, we've we've reached highs. And if you listen to Tommy and I, uh, if you listen to Tommy and me last uh, segment or last show, he was bringing up uh, some pretty interesting moves from 2020 up until now in uh, both the SPY, excuse me, the SPX and uh, the NQ. You should check that out. Uh, anyways, let's see where else we landed. Tesla up about 3%. Steel Dynamics off about 0.42%. I want to see what I can do with this stock. I, I haven't touched it in a long time, but it's been pretty dead for quite a while. And then the dollar finishing at 104.09. Lucid still up 24.71. I don't even think we got really that big of a downfall uh, at the end of the day with everything else. I think Rivian was making a uh, bizarre little move too. Let's see. Yeah, so we're back down testing that $18. Again, they're a high of 18.86. Some volume to the downside there as well. You know, I want to say before we go, if uh, you needed any reason to keep listening here at TFNN or check out a newsletter, check out this article here. This is financial illiteracy epidemic. 57% of Americans can't even score 50% on a financial literacy test, which is crazy. Since the report's inception in 2017, the results have been relatively stable. Americans have scored 48 to 52% correctly on the annual study. Only 16% of Americans scored between 75 and 100. I promise you, stick around here, listen to our shows, that uh, you'll be able to beat 48 to 52%. Folks, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you all have a fantastic weekend. We will be back Monday at 9 a.m. Uh, I hope you all have a great and safe weekend.